So let's look on uh, closer on the Bloom and the Starburst new effect add in Terrigen 4. And if we open render, you can look right here. We have effects and we have this new option, experimental atmosphere bloom and uh, bloom size and also Starburst. So we'll look on this one, but best way to do this if we create something scenery so we can kind of absorb the effect. And also I think this tutorial will help us to look on some um, in how interactions will going between different models, shaders and other things. So what I want to do is first let's create a lake. Okay, and if we already in terrains, we can go inside the terrains, click add, and we can add um, some effect. They have it already a lake, um, but what I want to do, I actually want to use it to create a shader. So we'll put right there, let's zoom in. And right here you can see we have a crater, fractal, fractal warp. And um, so we have our crater, it just place it. Um, let's modify a couple things. The reason why I want to use it crater, so we can see that we have some flexibility also on the rim and other effect and we can create smoothness overall. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, take our lake and move maybe a little bit on the back. About 300. Also, you know what, um, maybe just also take our um, camera and just also move it just move a little bit more out. Okay, we'll set camera here so we can see our crater. You see it's a crater lake, it's have some edges and we can make them a little bit smoother. So let's take our rim high and we'll take down to maybe around kind of very smooth you can see it. In uh, series 2 I think of charging tutorials I look very close on the last rim how which one properly with affecting. So if you reason you can check this out. Okay and we'll take a rim skirt and pop up this you know maybe about 32, 34. So you can see how we start smoothing nice edges. And let's take the softness. And, uh, so just overall you can see make kind of smooth edge and what I want to want also this kind of edge around. So that way we have a nice approach. Okay, so here's our lake. Uh, next, what I want to do, I actually want unusual, I want to put it on rocks. And we will go use it fake rock shade. So we'll do rocks going right here, but I don't want them to go all over. I want to have a big rocks right in the middle. So you almost can see through the water, be kind of... And as we go more far away, I want them smooth, teeny tiny, small, 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 and kind of almost gone to the sand. So almost this is like rock place around here. But also I want them to um, kind of going on this edge. So for this one we need calculate normals. Um, and we do have now um, also node that compute normals. But instead um, I'll just copy paste compute terrain. So I'll just put it right here. And we'll just create one more right in this area. We'll go to uh, displacement and we'll go to fake stones. So we'll go connect right here and connect right there. I'll say I just want to calculate normals and I want them rocks just go also on this curve kind of around so it will be more natural look on these edges. Okay so we have our fake rocks and they're all over places. First let's go ahead and modify a little bit of those rocks so we can see them a little bit better in a size. So let's go ahead and take our stone scale, put it to 25. And you can see now we have it right down the map. It's a lot of big rocks, which is kind of nice. So we can see them easy. Okay, we can pop up a little bit then still. Let's go to maybe about 0.3, maybe around that, or I think around there. Now we have it way more rocks around here. Okay, we'll leave it all as as default. And you know what, we will look a bit later on colors and other stuff. So now I want to work on the um, scale and distribution of 
let's go to the rain and we'll can create um simple transform so let's go from here directly and we can do a couple things so i want to use this one simple shape and we can go inside the create here displacement and we can go select a simple shape shader from here okay so i'm gonna actually kind of rename so i know what is this about okay and we'll just take this one and connect to um let's go go with the mask first so i don't want rocks going all over i just them go around and for this we'll just do first connect to the scale or uh, to the mask and the mask will go probably let's go bring this leave it back you can see 300 so right there we'll switch this to the circle polygons so it's going just around our lake kind of let's also push this out of the edges so probably this will work about right right here okay also look on this edges so what i want to do i want to change edge to the smooth step so you can see this will be a little bit smoother and let's take this edge width and maybe going about 300 yeah that one about right so look how it's now it's moving right there it's kind of distribution going so we'll have a lot of rocks right there and as they're going out a little bit more smooth less and less on them in this case okay and next also this one let's go connect to the scale function because we have this smoothing and you can see right here on the preview what's happening we have large rocks and as we're going to the edge they get smaller 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 and very small so it's actually what i want to do if you want increase and you can see right here in the render it's what happened we have the very large rocks and it will be nice because if it's semi-transparent water there you cannot see small rocks but larger rocks will pop up very well so from water we can see some reflection and roughness but as we're going down we have small this nice rocks dissipating going down okay so let's go ahead open and you can see right here we have it our two scale connected so the scale connect to the scale function and to the mask so kind of nicely put it control it rocks okay, so let's continue in the next part of this tutorial